Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. Yeah, it's um, it's a beautiful morning, and I hope all is well with you and your family. I'm just feeling, um, I, I don't know, maybe a little lazy this morning. <laughs> maybe so. Uh, but I wanted to, um, I wanted to come out because I had been looking at these vegetables right here. And yeah, you see that? Yeah, they need to get out. Good morning, family. So I stopped in because I wanted to share with you all this plant. Yeah, right here, this plant. So, there have been many names for this plant, but this is called a bloody dock. It's also called a red sorrow. And there's another name, a red vein sorrow. That's what this plant is. Now, it has been also called, uh, is it, uh, has been said, is it a vegetable or is it a herb? So from what I understand is the red sorrow is really an herb. But there are so many ways that we can consume the red sorrow. First of all, just by looking at this, this plant, you can see how gorgeous she is. She is absolutely gorgeous, right? All those deep, dark red veins going through her. She is just beautiful. Now, just like any greens that we grow, you know, in the brassica families, they love to be together. Touching each other is all right. And that is the same way with these um, red sorrow. They don't mind growing in a in a um, in a in a grow bag all together, right? Yeah. So I've done uh, a little research on this red sorrow because I have never tried eating red sorrow. So, for what I understand is that you can eat it raw or you can cook it um, like you would do greens or you can cook it like spinach because that is also another name that the red sorrow is called. Some call it a, calls it a spinach. It, uh, no matter what they call this vegetable, this herb, <laughs> she is just gorgeous. And she is full of uh, anti-inflammatories. So let me just say some of the things that what she does. First of all, the red vein sorrow is an herb. Um, it is also medicinal. It reduces... Um, uh, sudden on uh, ongoing pain and swelling from uh, inflammation of the nasal passage and respiratory uh, tract. That's what it's good for. Now, as I said, you can eat it raw or you can eat it cooked. So you could stir fry it or you could cook it like your mama cooked the greens, <laughs> your greens, right? But, um, I want to grow this sorrow so I can try it. Um, the health benefits in this plant seems to be um, something definitely I want to try. And as a gardener, I, yeah, I have the ability to get the seeds and drop those seeds and uh, I I'm looking forward to tasting it. Now I know at this at this point I could definitely taste her, but I want to wait till the plants get just a little bit bigger. Um, yeah. Now she is and she can be 
a perennial from zone four to eight. But uh, in my zone nine garden, she is an annual, but she can also self seed. Yeah, she also self seeds. So, you know, just to, as I was looking into vegetables for this purple theme I'm going for this season with a lot of my vegetables, uh, this uh, red sorrel definitely grabbed my attention and um, I'm very much looking forward to uh, at least trying her. Now, I want to try it raw, um, cooked, yeah, stir fried. And, and you know, for what I understand, a lot of people also eat it as a lettuce. They use the the um, the sorrow and add vegetables as we would do just a regular salad. So that's another thing I would like to try. And I'm going to put them in this grow bag because I know these grow bags are amazing for my leafy vegetables. So I definitely want to thank my friends Cheryl and Chris from Back to Our Roots Homestead for gifting me these bags because it is something uh, really, really strange that I do love about grow bags when it comes to my um, leafy vegetables. So, I mean, you know, if you don't believe it, get your grow bag and just try and you will see too. But anyway, it is, um, it's a beautiful plant. And if you've never grown it, uh, I'm going to put a picture somewhere up in here. I purchased the seeds from Baker Creek. And it is called Bloody Dock. That is the name of that, Bloody Dock. And she, like I say, she have lots of names. Bloody Dock, the Red Sorrow the red vein sorrow so uh yeah so if it strikes your attention if if it you know have you thinking that maybe just maybe you would like to try uh, to grow um this beautiful vegetable one thing for sure uh, she is gorgeous she is gorgeous <laughs> yeah so I'm looking forward to just uh, trying this vegetable. And I think the very first way I'm definitely going to try her is raw. And then we're going to go into eating it um, in a stir fry. Yeah, we'll try a stir fry and see how she goes. Now, from one video I, I watched, uh, the lady said that the stems were bitter but the greens were delicious. So we're going to see. We're going to see. Uh, and um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you all so much for hanging out with me this morning. <laughs> well, I feel a little lazy here today. But, you know, your plants still needed me. These plants were almost root bound in that pot. And those little starter trays so yeah they were definitely ready to come out of there and uh, yeah i want to make sure that they grow up nice and big and have the best opportunity to uh, flourish because when they flourish so do i so do i yeah but um i hope you all have a great evening i did purchase some seeds i went out and I did um, do a little haul. I will share that with you all tomorrow. And I will share some seeds that I purchased that I'm going to be giving away on my next live. All right. But anyway, guys, you all have a beautiful evening. Later, y'all. Mm -hmm.